Welcome into CBS Sports HQ. I'm your host, Joe Musso. We're dealing with a developing story right now out of Cincinnati where Bill's safety, Damar Hamlin, has been taken off the field by an ambulance during Monday night's game against the Bengals. Following a hit in the first quarter on Cincinnati receiver T. Higgins, Hamlin rose to his feet and then collapsed moments later. CPR reportedly was administered before the ambulance took Hamlin to the hospital. The game has been temporarily suspended. And for more, we welcome in the two-time Super Bowl champ, Bryant McFadden, who played in this league, has commentated on this league, knows it from all angles. And BMAC, first and foremost, before we get to anything here, I want to know how you're feeling in this moment because it's sobering and puts aside any sort of weight that this game carried. Uh, for me personally, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. Um, I'm uncomfortable. You know, one thing about being a part of the National Football League, we consider it to be a brotherhood for current players from past uh, past players as well. And we always root for the, hate, the, the, the health and the safety each and every ball game, regardless if we're cheering for a team, if we're rooting against a team. We always root and cheer for safety and health, sound health. And seeing that hit, it looked to be a routine hit, mm -hmm. you know, playing full speed, doing what you're supposed to do as a defender. T. Higgins is doing what he's supposed to do as an offensive player. It was a routine hit. But the scary part for me, Joe, is that I've seen guys get concussed. You know when someone is concussed. For, for Hamlin, he got up and stood up and fell down. And that's something I've never seen before. And then, of course, moments later, you know, they bring uh, the medical staff out and then you hearing that they're giving him CPR. That's what really freaked me out. Because all my days of playing the game of football, I've never seen in person or via television someone being administrated CPR. The gravity of the situation can't be overstated right now, BMAC, and we will not speculate. We will send our prayers, we will send our thoughts, and we are hoping for the best here uh, for DeMar Hamlin. But there is football in front of us, and it feels like such a small idea right now. But should this game be resumed, in your opinion? I don't think so. I said that instantly. I was mm -hmm. talking to a friend when it happened and just seeing how concerned both teams were, especially the Buffalo Bills. It's hard to get your mind back into a game format, especially not knowing the status of your teammate, not knowing the status of an opposing player. It's one thing for a guy to be concussed and they carry them out on the football field, off the football field, and they give us a thumbs up. You know, that gives us a reason to be optimistic that, you know what, he's going through something right now, but he should be okay in a few weeks or so. You don't know the status, and we don't know how fast they will know the status. So with that being said, if I'm a member of the Buffalo Bills, I understand this is a very, very important ball game, but life is more important than anything. Your well-being is more important than anything. So to answer your question, I, I, I don't see how they could resume this ball game tonight especially not knowing, you know, what's going on with your fellow brother. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree with you. Uh, the thoughts of the entire NFL, that brotherhood, are with Damar Hamlin right now, and we appreciate you, Mac, for stopping by here with your thoughts. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, the Bills have taken a moment to weigh in on Twitter in a few words, saying the thoughts and prayers of all of Bills Mafia are supporting you, Damar. We'll have more on the situation as it comes to us here on CBS Sports HQ.